What's going on YouTube? Before you in this little brown box sits my Nexus 5 that I just picked up today. So I've not opened it at all. This is still sealed up from the uh, delivery company. I tore off the label, but that's about it. So we're gonna do a full unboxing. Hopefully this isn't full of spiders or cobras because then that's gonna be on film and that's gonna suck. The shipping summary, throw that aside. And here we go. Put that on the side there. So there is the pretty nondescript box. It's got LG on that side. And then some Bluetooth logos and then Nexus 5 on the back. Let's go ahead and open this up. That over there. So you got this plain white box here. Just got some pieces of tape. Took those off. And on the front, just says Google. Nothing really much else on here. Put that to the side. And there it is, the Nexus 5. Very beautiful, nondescript looking. And an instant fingerprint magnet, if you can't tell. There's the back. It says Nexus right there. I'll take this sticker off here. So here is the back. You can see that Nexus carved into the back there. LG logo and the camera lens. And a weird little piece of tape on it as well. I'll take that off in a bit. So, before I power this guy on, put him down. Let's see what else is in the box here. Anything in here? No. Nothing in there. What do we got here? This is a SIM card removal tool. Definitely want to hang on to that. Turn on, press and hold. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Fully charged battery from power outlet. What do we got here? Para activar, mantén, okay. Es Spanish. Español, yes, I do speak Spanish. I just haven't done any videos yet. In Spanish. And then one in French. I don't remember how to speak Spanish. Used to be able to when I was a lot younger. So safety and warranty info. More safety and warranty info. A power brick. Let's take that out of the bag. Oh my god, horrible. Just cut it open. So yeah, LG logo on that side. And then a bunch of boring electronic info on the back. So again, pretty nondescript. This side, that's it. No headphones. Lame. Whatever. That's to the side. Let's open this uh, USB cable here. Again, using my scissors because I have little baby hands. And here we have the USB micro. For charging purposes and also to connect to a PC if you so desire. Put that in the box, put that in the box, move those over there, and made kind of a mess here.
put that on the side. And back to the star of the show. So before I get started, I definitely want to take that off. I'm not a fan of screen protectors. So here we go. Pressing the power button. And there it goes, turning on. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. So we have the boot up animation and not too not too much to say about that. It's a boot up animation. Watch and enjoy. I'll probably speed this part up. Welcome, select your language, English. So it's asking me to insert a SIM card. I wanna do that right now, hit skip. Searching for Wi-Fi networks. I just added my Wi-Fi password and there's already an update for this thing. 125 meg update, that's kinda of crazy. We'll hit next. This could take up to five minutes after afterwards the phone will automatically restart. So again, more magic of editing will take place. So while that's doing its thing, just for comparison's sake, here is my Galaxy S4 next to it. So there's the Nexus 5, here's the Galaxy S4. Um, pretty similar size and footprint on them. Let's go ahead and turn them both to the side. And... They look almost the same thickness as well too. That's pretty crazy. Button placement is almost identical. The bottom... We've got those uh... We've got those two speaker grills, one of which is actually not a speaker, but hides the microphone, and then the USB charging port as well. On this side, we've got the power button, and then switch hands here, the tray for the SIM card as well. Up top, Got the headphone jack, and I believe that's a, another microphone. And then of course the Galaxy S4 with its shiny fingerprint magnet-like back. So, just a little something to kill the time while this thing continues to update. So, okay, looks like the update is taking place. So again, I'll probably fast forward this a little more. So I'm not sure what update this is. Be nice if this was uh, the rumored update for the camera due to a lot of people complaining about the camera and Google saying they were aware of it. But I honestly have no idea what this is. And I haven't read anything on any of the big news sites saying you know what this update is for so keep on waiting alright so we finally rebooted we're being asked for the language again so next I'm gonna skip this okay so all I did off camera was install or rather set up my Wi-Fi and enter my Google password so that's done, and now it's asking if I want to back up my data, if I want to use location and all that jazz. Check that. We'll go ahead and uncheck everything for right now. No. Next. 
it's pulled my name from my Google Plus profile, I'm guessing. So, go ahead and say yes. Next. So basically at this point, if you say maybe later, then you won't get the full benefits of Google Now. So I like Google Now, so I'm gonna say yes. So let's go ahead and say okay. Okay. And there we have it. So it says, say okay Google. Wow, that's pretty good. Nexus 5. Wow. Pretty good voice recognition. Not terrible, not amazing, I guess. So whatever, let's go back to the home screen. So if you swipe left, we automatically get Google Now popping up. Let's go back to the right. Got some, okay, so right now we only have two home screens and then Google Now. No, I don't want to do that right now. Actually, yeah, I do. Uh, I don't want. That's fine for now. Whatever. It's the widgets. Apparently this is the only way to get to the widgets now. They've removed it from the app drawer. So I go home, and I go to the app drawer, and you see it's just apps and there's no widgets in here. And one of the things that you probably notice is that this is a lot, um, the icons are a lot bigger than in previous versions of Android to take advantage of this big screen. Um, and as you can see, it's downloading apps as you can see from that little arrow up top and let's see if we can make a folder here cool so pretty fast Here's a folder. So obviously if, if you've never used a Nexus device or an Android device for that matter, this is a pretty good tutorial on how to get stuff done. So very cool. Let's bring this one back out so we can name it. One of the things that they've updated with KitKat is the text is really close now. So the font is more narrow. Um, I don't know how I, I like that. Some people like it. I'm not too sure I like it right now. But I just have to give it time, I guess. So let's go into the settings. So again, long pressing on the KitKat logo, got us this. You can see the buttons are hidden, but if you want to pull them down, you swipe down from the top of the screen, say okay. And we have this cool little game here, which just brings up little tiles of different the different versions of Android. So kind of neat, fun little Easter egg there. Swipe down. And that brought back the buttons. Go ahead and go back here. It 
So tapping on the build number, you have to do that seven times, it brings up the developer options. If we go back, we have these now. Uh, one of the things that I always do on my phones is I actually, let's see where it is on here, I actually turn off all animations. And that just makes the phone fly. And I'm going to do that on here too, just because I've gotten so used to not having animations. So here we go. Just leave those off for now. And yeah, this is pretty quick. So there we go, that's it for now. Um, obviously I'll be doing a lot more videos on this phone in the future, but until then, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And stay tuned for more Nexus 5 and just tech related videos in general. Alright guys, take care.